Now then, today I've got some mussels. Got some lovely mussels, look, from Morrison's. Again, a lot of people like mussels but don't know how to how to cook them. So I'm just going to show you a couple of different little recipes how to cook them. And they're so, so simple. Um, these mussels actually are quite clean. Uh, to be honest, mussels aren't in season, to be fair. Um, mussels are usually in season and it's supposed to be with an R in the month. So like January, February, March, April and then out of season, May, June, July, August and back in season. But a lot of these places now, obviously they're all rope grown and these estuaries. Um, and they're not so bad. You can get them all year round in that kind of way. But the best mussels, like I say, I've got an R in the month. They're the best mussels. These are very, very light. Anyway, these ones haven't got uh, any barnacles on. To be honest, I haven't got much of what you call much of a bead on. And that's what you do when you clean them. You look for the, the ones with the bead. These are quite clean. So if you see any, any, any bead, just give it a pull off into a clean bowl. If you see any mussels that are open, like for example, uh, that there, he's open. Just give it a tap inside the bowl and it'll actually close. If it doesn't close, put them in. That means it's dead. For example, I've got that one there, it's quite wide. Give it a tap. Give it a squeeze. There you are. Closed. So that one's... So just discard any mussels that uh, don't don't close. Gentle tap. Wake them up. And close. But a lot of beards, just pull the beards off. They're horrible, gritty, horrible stuff. Pull the beards off, discard them. And then give them a rinse. See, that one's got a beard there, look. See that? Now you do. See that there? Now you do. You pull the beard. Give it a wiggle. Pull it off. It's gone. So these are actually quite clean, to be fair. But any with beads, I said just... There it's gone. No, it's gone. So go through all the mussels and make sure they're all clean. Alright? Right, that's the mussels all done. All done there. Big bowl of them. Only four dead ones, so it's not too bad. Um, and like I say you can put these in a lot of different sauces. Great as a starter, kids love them. Um, they're very, very easy to cook. They're quite cheap as well. Is that when if you get them, bring them off from the supermarket. Put them in a bowl. Don't take the beads off until you're gonna until you're gonna use them. Damp tea towel or some damp kitchen roll over the top. Keep them nice and cold and damp, and they'll last a couple of days before you eat them. Uh, I've got the email I've got these cheap from the supermarket, they're the last ones, so show them cheap by uh, Friday. So, right, I'm going to show you a couple of ways how to prep them. Make sure you have everything prepped because the ticks are, they're so quick to cook. Uh, make sure your bowls and all the kind of stuff and everything there. Alright, let's crack on. What I'm going to do is uh, just a, a classic Mose Marinier, um, which you see in all the restaurants, which is basically the white wine, some onions, some garlic, parsley and some cream um, the other one I want to do is a cider and spring onion that's nice I used to have that in the restaurant a few times um, so a nice cider plus when you use that you can drink the rest yourself um, any dry cider nice little bottles nice no good for woodpecker but then again you still use it so don't worry uh, you just saute them garlic butter um, white wine with chunks of lemon there's loads of different ways there's also another way you can do chopped tomatoes, some chilli and some basil, but I'm not going to do that today. But that's another one you can do. So you can do your mussels to any flavour you want really. Uh, just make sure you have it all prepped up. Right, let's crack on. Right, the first one we're going to do is the mousse marinier. I've just got a small pan, I haven't done too many. I just do a couple of bowls of different flavours. So I've got a pan on, whacking no butter, some onions. Garlic. I say do anything you want, you pesto, basil, honestly, any flavour, Provencal, makes no difference. Whatever you like. Lovely. Just sweat that slightly. Salt and pepper. Like I said, we're not frying the onions, we're just sweating it off. We've got garlic and onions. Fried and cropped like flavour. Muffles in, got handfuls there, 
white wine, look as you want, and then get on top. Now that won't take long, take about a minute, two minutes max. Right, that's it, they're about, they're about open. So what we do is cream. Parsley, chopped parsley, nice fresh chopped parsley. Give it a lovely flavour. And then some salt and pepper. Right, wait a couple of minutes. Parsley's in there, salt and pepper's in there. Cream, a little bread we're going to have. Bread this morning. Put it in with a bigger pan, which is over there. See me? We're done. Now we do. Mussels into and then shout the kids all right we're done most man on yeah now we are everyone digging in with the mussels and like i said we don't use spoons and knives what we do we use the shells we suck the juice up with the shell <laughs> calm, calm down <laughs> calm shy and then we use the shell as it has our fork to pinch them out I shall not pinch them out, Kel. What? Shall not pinch them out. I'm pinching out. <laughs> you shall? I don't like shall. That. Yeah. That's how we grab her. Like that. Yeah. So, nice. Mm -hmm. Nice, Kel. A bit dodgy. Dodgy. No, nice one. Then one's totally demolished. So this time we're going to do the cider. Again, a very similar ingredient. Wine to cider. Onions, spring onions. But they both have unique. Unique. Different flavours. So I've got a bit of onion left over, so why not back in anyway? Spring onions. Scallions. And nice with a bit of coriander. Oh, I ain't got any. I'm going to sweat it off gently. Again, like I say, eating tomato sauce, chilli, garlic butter, white wine, chunks of lemon. Just chilies and butter, chilies and oil, seafood, anything you want. So cheap and versatile and so quick. The kids have actually smashed them ones. Didn't really leave them from. So again, let's sort them away. That much old back of all into these. I want to sort of pick one of these ones now. Seasoned up. Start the heat up. There goes our cider. Lovely. Serve some for me. What we do? Let them open. Here we go, let's have a look. Muscles are open. Beauty. And not so much cream this time. I want the flavour of the cider. So I'm going to touch your cream. That's it. Not a lot. That warm through gently. Like I said, some nice uh, coriander. It'll go nice in there. A bit of tarragon, really, but I've got no tarragon either. So you're going to use what you've got. Bring that to the boil. Like I said, mussels so cheap, so simple to make. Make a lovely starter. Just don't last long in this house. Alright, about done there. That's it, brought to the boil, ready, done. Take it away into seven dish. So that is your onions and cider. Spring onions, yeah, sorry, your mussels and onions. Spring onions and cider, I think I'm pissed already. Hi guys! If you enjoyed the videos and like what you're seeing, um, do me a favour. See that YouTube button down there, that subscribe button. Just give it a, just give it a press. Because the more subscriptions I get, the more I can do. The more I can keep helping you. I enjoy doing these. So hit the like button. One of that one. Just give it a click and hit that one there. And let's keep cooking and let's stay safe. Okay, rock on.